It is that time of the year again. It is time for me to rank the top 10 runners in One Piece Bounty Rush, 5th Annie Edition. Of course, this list is my opinions, and if you guys don't agree with me, I don't really give a fuck. But not much to explain, it's a, it's a tier list, it's a ranking list, and yeah, let's not waste more time and let's just hop right into it. Starting off with number 10, we got Green Runner Marco, a really old runner. I'm just gonna say it, he's not good anymore, he's just here because there's nothing better than him pretty much, so he's super old now, but he can still do some things, kind of, like, if you be a pure rat with him, you could get a fat flag or two sometimes, but, like, he does not ignore enemies, he doesn't really do damage anymore, his skills are ass now, he's super slow, only good things on his whole kit is that he has nullifying status on his skill too and he does heal a lot of health but like it doesn't really matter because he's not tanky anymore so you'll just die against everything <laughs> moving on to number nine we have parasu another green runner he is another runner that is super weird his whole kit is just made to counter gear 5 and claw that's it that's all he literally does and versus anybody else you're probably gonna struggle a lot with him he is meant to be a runner, but all he does is deal damage and he doesn't really do anything else. But yeah, he is meant to be a pure rat, so just play him as a rat and you might do decent. Better than Marco, at least in my opinion. Psychoda. We have the drug addict at number 8. The only reason I'd say he's this low in the list is because Zoro and Yamato exist and they absolutely shred him. He has nullify status, nullify stagger, and a good cap trade. Plus, he does a lot of damage to power users, so you could actually hook power users up, like Gear 5. Well, not Gear 5, but Whitebeard, at least, he, he absolutely shreds Whitebeard. So, yeah, he's overall a really good unit. Like, if you actually have him, I would suggest, like, leveling him up. He is not that bad, but, like, of course, keep in mind, Zoro and Yamato Ace will shred you. Cyborg no Shinzui, mise Number 7, we got Hybrid Queen. So this is the first runner on the list that has the ignore enemy and capping the flag traits, which I think is the strongest trait in the whole game. Even like it's, it is the best trait in the game to have. But again, his trait is super conditional. His whole kit is based around getting knocked back and going invisible. And once you go invisible, you can cap the enemy flags. So I do think this is a good runner. And if you have him, I would suggest maxing him also because he is good for support. So yeah. At number 6, we got Raid on Onigashima Frankie. Frankie is one of the fastest runners in the game. He has a really good cap trade, one of the best cap trades to be honest. He has the same thing as Roger almost, but he also doesn't get knocked back. But I think the only thing that lacks on his whole kit is that he can't really fight people once you're out of skills. But except that, he's super fast and he can clutch you games super easily. One of the best runners in this meta. <laughs> So we are beginning with the top 5, of course at number 5 we have Green Bull. Green Bull is a super underwhelming runner in my opinion. Only reason he's this good is because this dude has the ignore enemy and capping flag traits. And his condition is super easy to achieve, you just need your health to be above 70% and then you can ignore enemies and cap their flags, which is of course the best trait in the game, like I said. This dude could have been top 3, but he lacks so many things. Like, first of all, why does he fly to the closest flag? Why can't he be like Kaido? Why can't he just go to the farthest flag? But, okay, sure. If, but yeah, all that smack I'm talking about him, but he's actually a really good, really good runner. And yeah, he is just a good runner. Nothing else to say about him. And number four, we have the OG GOAT V1 King. This dude is a bounty fest, and he's been meta for over a year. He has the single best cap trade in the game, first of all. He can ignore the first three hits that you do on him, so he's just invincible for the first three hits. He is super fast. He can almost kill anything with his skills. His skill 2 is super fast. He has a teleport skill. Almost does everything. He's like a jack of all trades. And the only thing you would struggle with in this meta is Roger and his stun. So I would just suggest you to run stun reduction on him, and then you'd be good to go. Koi. Finally, for the top 3, beginning with the king of back caps himself, Green Hybrid Kaido. You can fly off to the farthest flag of the enemy instantly with his skill. On top of this, he has one of the strongest status effects in the game, that is heal block. He has a decent cap trade. I would say it's not that good, but it's good that he has one in instead of not having any. And one thing that I don't see people mention about Kaido is that he has the best normals in the game i'm not even kidding dude i stand by this statement that he has the best normals out of every unit in the game 
To no one's surprise, the number two best runner in the game is EX Kid and Law. Kid and Law are super, 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 super good. They do everything. There's nothing they can't do. They have ignored enemies. They have notifying status. They have ignored damage reduction. Ignored defense buffs. One of the best normals. Removing enemies' dodges. Like they do so much, and this and everything they do is just so broken. And if all of this was not enough, they have a dual units. That means they have two health bars and four skills. And of course, to finish off the list, it is the king of the pirates, Goldie Roger. He is, of course, the best runner in the game. He is so, so, so good. Just, I, I don't have words to explain how good he is. He has one of the most stupidest cap traits ever. If you hit him while capping the flag, you get stunned yourself. On top of this, he does so much damage. Kamusari is one of the most obnoxious skills ever released in this game. He can hold it for so long, plus he returns the damage you do to him on that skill. It's just so stupid. His whole kit is just so, so, so good. I don't think anybody's surprised by this. And yeah, he is, of course, the number one runner in the game. And definitely the number one unit in the game. That's going to be it for this video. That is my top 10 runners list. If you guys do want to see the attacker and defenders list, do subscribe to the channel. I will be dropping them soon. And hey, you guys can leave now. Go, go away. Go play League Battle or something. Peace.